lot of times people ask, what should I do with my clippings when I'm mowing the lawn? And the thing not to do is put them in the trash. And uh, one thing we can do with our clippings is put them into a compost pile. Uh, a good effective compost pile, the carbon nitrogen ratio uh, generally has a lot of, of carbon. And so we can add things like grass clippings that have a lot of nitrogen in it to help break down those, uh, that, that compost. So when would I not want to apply or add clippings to my compost pile? Uh, that would be whenever you put down a herbicide or some kind of pesticide onto your lawn, um, at least a couple of weeks until you start recycling those clippings back into that compost pile. And why is that? Well, some of our products, especially products that contain the, the herbicide uh, uh, chlorpyrrolid, uh, they can persist in the clippings and they can have negative impacts on the plants that we're gonna try to grow in that compost in the future. And so that's the kind of a plant that you know, we wouldn't want to add that herbicide to our grass and then take those clippings and put them into our compost pile. A good alternative to adding our clippings to our compost pile is just some mulch mow. Uh, these clippings, again, have a lot of uh, fertility value, and so returning them back into the, the soil uh, helps out reducing our fertility requirements. But from a pesticide perspective, I don't have to worry about is there still pesticide in these clippings or not? Uh, is it safe for me to put into my compost pile? And so, you know, even this time of year when the grass is growing very vigorously, we really recommend not bagging. If the grass is growing very quickly, just raise your mower height a notch or two and try to get your yard back under control and then bring your mowing height back down to the, the normal height. So to avoid any potential issues with, with pesticides getting into our compost piles, especially herbicides that can hurt plants that we're trying to grow in that compost later on, let's just return those clippings and keep them out of that compost pile. It's definitely the easier thing to do. In addition to composting, a lot of gardeners want to take these clippings and put them uh, in mulch around their plants in their garden as a way to add some fertility and to hold on to some of that soil water uh, by putting these, these clippings onto our turf. And uh, you know, if they're treated with a pesticide, again, some type of a herbicide, that's not really the thing that we'd want to do because these products uh, could potentially then move to the desirable plants in our garden. So we want to be very, very careful when it comes to uh, mixing or mulching uh, around our plants with uh, turf grasses treated with a different kind of pesticide. So in conclusion, we really just want to keep the grass in the grass. Let's keep it on the ground. Let's not bag it. It's going to make mowing go a lot faster. It's healthier for our lawn and it, risks, it minimizes the risk of any type of herbicide impact on our desirable plants.